Hey everybody and welcome to another craft tutorial. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Just hit that big red subscribe button. It would mean so much to me to have you as part of my YouTube crafty family. In today's video, I am going to address something that a lot of people ask about and I'm so excited to help you with. A lot of people are wondering how can I store things in small spaces. I moved my filming studio and it's much smaller than it used to be, so I'm always looking for great storage solutions. In came Mad Tools. They're an amazing company that has some awesome products for your pegboards. One thing I love about them is that their products are so much thicker than the stuff that you would get at your average hardware store. It's really, really high quality and they have a ton of really great accessories, including my favorite, which is a paper towel holder. I'm going to give you guys a tour of my whole setup here, but first I'm going to show you my husband installing this. This is actually plastic pegboard that you can get from Home Depot. It's really inexpensive and what I love about it is that it's already pre-spaced off the wall because when you install a pegboard you do need to have a little bit of space between the back of the pegboard and the wall in order for your pegs to sit into the holes correctly. So this one is already pre-spaced, was very very easy to install and you can put them in different configurations. This is four pieces made into a square and I can always add on to it as I need to or as I see fit. So let's go watch my husband install this and then you guys will see me set up everything and then I'm going to give you a little bit more of an in-depth tour of all the amazing Mad Tools pegs. Installing this pegboard is super easy. You just need a couple of things. You'll want a drill, a level, some wall anchors, and some screws. You're going to want to mark where all of your holes are after you've leveled off your pegboard and then pre-drill holes for your anchors. You'll want to insert your anchors using a hammer and then you can hang up your pegboard and put in your screws. You may need an extra person to help you with the first board, but once you've gotten past that one, it's pretty much smooth sailing because everything clips in together. You just really do want to make sure that you anchor this well to the wall because you are going to be hanging some heavy things on it. You always want to make sure that it's well secured and it's not going to fall off of your wall. Again, this only took us about 15 minutes to do the entire thing. And for future reference, my husband is a perfectionist. So it probably will not take you nearly as long, but it's very, very easy to do. You can get extra wall anchors at Home Depot and the pegboard came from Home Depot as well. I will link the pegboard that I'm using in the description down below. And you can paint these if you desire to. I kind of liked them black, so I left them, but you absolutely can paint these pegboards. It's a really fun way to add a pop of color to your walls and you can see how easy they go together. Once you get that first one in, you just line up everything else and drill your holes so that you know where your um, anchors are going to be. Put your anchors in and then your screws and you're all set. I want to show you the Mad Tools website. It's super easy to shop and they're great. Plus, they're based in the US. They are just out of Houston, Texas. So, one of the great things that they do is that their products are thicker than a regular pegboard hook, but they still fit in your standard quarter inch pegboard. They also include the little black caps when you order, so that's really nice so you don't have those sharp ends. Now, you can do a bunch of different options. They have value kits, and then you can also buy extra hooks and things separately, but they sent me one of the value kits, which is awesome. It's um, $43.97 on sale right now, and it's great, but they are they come with, I mean, so many different things that you can't go wrong with it. I'm going to open the picture up larger so you can see everything that it comes with, but it comes with lots and lots of stuff. This one is my favorite, this little rack. That's what I'm putting my scissors on. There's tons of J hooks in different sizes. Some of these U hooks, we have long hooks, L hooks, all sorts of stuff, and a set of the baskets. I love these hooks, and I'm gonna show you this because I think this really shows you why I prefer the Mad Tools over other brands. 
These are the Mad Tools ones, these thick ones, and then this little thin one is other branded uh, peg hook pieces. So the Mad Tools is much, much thicker, so it is a much better quality item. I'm gonna take you back home because I wanna show you some of the other really cool accessories that they have. They have some really neat stuff. They have a shelf with a towel rack, which is really, really fun. They also have what I have, which is the paper towel holder, which I'm gonna use for transfer tape. There's, you can buy some more baskets. And this one is really cool. I'm gonna get this one for my husband. This is a measuring tape holder, and it has all kinds of little compartments in it, and it's awesome. And I just think this is such a cool idea that I absolutely am going to get my husband one. But check this out. You can absolutely detach the container. How cool is that? I just think this one is really handy and I'm definitely going to get him one of these. They offer free shipping at $40 and their shipment took very little time to get to me. So I was really, really happy. So let's go over so I can set up my pegboard and get everything all set for you guys. Setting up the pegboard is my favorite part. I loved being able to move things around and figure out where I wanted everything to go. One of the best parts is that you can move things around as you put them up, and if you just don't like it, you can change it. Pegboards are great for constantly changing up the way you wanna store things, and you can store new things all the time. I got so many pieces with the set that I had lots and lots of great options as to how I wanted to store things and what types of things I wanted to hang. I really liked being able to choose which items I wanted out and which ones I used the most so that I could put those at the forefront of my storage. I use my hot milk glue gun and my drill so often that it was really important for me to have those on my pegboard and scissors I use daily. So those were absolutely crazy important for me to have out. And I loved adding the extra little U hooks or J hooks to the bottom to hang all of my mats. I'm gonna give you guys a much more in-depth tour of the pegboard once everything is up but I really love that these are so thick and handy and they really hold so much stuff and the baskets are another great addition to your pegboard. Don't forget to put the protective black caps on the ends of all of your hooks and your L brackets. That way you don't catch a shirt or your arm and scratch anything. Plus, it just looks really professional and finished once you've done that. After setting up my pegboard, I still have a ton of pieces left, which is awesome because I'll be able to expand my pegboard at any time. And because I use that plastic pegboard, it's super easy to install. But I want to give you guys a close-up look of some of these really cool pegs that they include. So these ones are really awesome. These, they say, are for pliers, snips, clippers, wire strippers, and cutters. But for us, they're great for scissors, pliers that we use for jewelry, all sorts of really great things. Then we also have these, which are really, really great. They are L hooks. Then we have these little hooks, and these are straight, and I really like these ones a lot. These are awesome to hold tape and things on, tape measures, stuff like that. We also have some smaller L hooks here. We have longer ones, and you'll note I put the caps on everything. It just keeps that sharp edge from sticking out. But we got a ton of these style hooks, which are awesome. These little hooks are fantastic for everything. We have some U hooks. We've got small ones, and then we also have some larger ones. And then these are really great. These are great for scissors as well and pliers, 
but I just think these are such a cool idea and screwdrivers because we do use screwdrivers when you craft as well so we have a couple of those they include a ton of stuff they include enough black caps to cover everything that you could possibly need to cover and I just like them because they look a little bit more finished with the black cap on them and it's also a safety thing so if you brush up against them they're not going to rip your clothing or scratch your skin with those black caps on them one thing I absolutely love is the basket set. So the baskets are great and they hold all kinds of things that maybe just don't fit on a peg or are kind of odd shaped, but you need to get them off the ground or off of your shelves. So I've used mine to hold my Cricut Easy Press Mini. I think this is really awesome. And I like that these are coated and they're nice and thick, which is great. And then I also have a basket that's holding my anti tay bling. This is another one of those items that it's hard because they take up a lot of space on a shelf, but in a little basket, I can stack them and they're perfect. And then down here, I have some paints for one of the videos that you guys have seen but I could absolutely fit a ton more paints in here. Or once I'm done using these paints, I can switch out what's in my basket. But these baskets are nice and thick, and I really, really like the way they hang. They hang straight, which is fantastic. They do include a little piece of wood to place behind them so that they hang straight up and down. This I did in a little bit of an unconventional way. I used one of these little, like, brackets here, and I just always need these jump rings. And I just thought it would be much easier to have them just out where I can reach them really easy, reach over and then set them right back down. They fit perfectly in here. They're nice and secure and it's easy to see them and they're out and I can grab them and put them right back really, really easily. And that way they're not laying all over my table after I'm done using them. To clear up a little more storage space on some shelving, I moved a couple of my coffee cups over to my pegboard with this double L bracket. It's so sturdy, I have no fear of these cups falling off of the rack, and I think it's really, really nice. Plus, what I love is that they're easy access. I know what I have now, and I can see what I've got, and if I know I need to stock up, it'll be a lot easier. You can hang them just on one hook or both, depending on your coffee cup, so don't worry if your handle is a little bit smaller than mine. These are really, really sturdy and can hold just on the one hook, and you'll be fine. This metal ruler is my favorite. I stole it from my husband and refused to give it back. But I always end up shoving it in a drawer and it never quite fits in a drawer because it's about 13 and a half inches total in length. You can see it's pretty long. So having it out on the pegboard is really, really handy because I'm not fighting with it and trying to shove it somewhere it doesn't really fit. And I just used a small L hook to hold that. And what I like is that it's still enough space where I could add something behind it if I had another ruler to hang back there. But this one's great because then I don't have to try to fight with it all the time. Up at the top, I used a couple of the U-hooks and an L-hook to hang up a few of my blanks. So I've got some chapstick holders. I tend to forget that I have these smaller blanks. And these are great for little stocking stuffers or if you are going to an event and you need to bring somebody a small gift. This stuff is great, but I tend to forget that I have it. And then I have these really cute little hand sanitizer holders. They come with the little bottle and then they're neoprene and there's a couple different prints on them. But again, it's one of those small items that gets shoved in a drawer and I forget that I have. So I find this to be a lot easier. That way I can remember that I have them. I do actually need to stock up on these because I can fit a bunch more on this hook. And these again are great little like last minute gifts, grab and go. On our next U-shape hook, I put on these makeup bags because again, it's another item that I forget I have a lot and they're really, really easy to just shove somewhere and forget that you have them, but they make great gifts. They're perfect if you need to put a little bit of gift wrapping on something and you just want it to be a little bit more special. But I love that they, I can easily hang them on a U-hook and they're here, they're easy to see, the little zippers fit perfect against that hook and they're really, really easy to hang up there Plus they add a little bit of cute color. This is a plier holder and it is holding pliers. It's probably the only thing I use off of here for what it was actually intended for as far as hardware use. But these are jewelry pliers and I use them a lot, especially with my jump rings. So I picked these guys out and I put them on the little rack. You do need to squeeze them to get them out because with jewelry pliers, they are open at all times and you squeeze them to close them. So it's really easy though, and they're very sturdy in there. I'm not worried about poking myself if they're in a drawer. I'm not worried about losing them because they're right there, and if they're not there, then I know to go look for them. 
but this is a great little tool holder and I love it. I think it's perfect and I can't wait to add some more of my little jewelry type tools to this once I get them in stock. A small U-hook is great for these paint brushes. These are ones that I use when I'm making larger acrylic signs because I like the texture that it gives with those bristles. I got them from Michaels for really inexpensive, but again, I don't want to shove stuff like this in a drawer unless they're still in the packaging because it can mess up the bristles. This is a great way to keep them neat and tidy. I used some longer L-hooks to hold up my glue gun and my drill. What I like is that these are so nice and sturdy. I'm not worried about my heavier tools falling off. They're really, really thick and heavy, so you don't have to worry about your heavy tools falling off of your peg hook, which is really, really great. And this is not a light glue gun, and I love the way that I can get it out of the way, out of a drawer, and I can still have easy access to it. And the drill refuses to hang right side up, but it's great because it does have this little indent here, which is perfect for this pegboard, and it holds it really, really well. Washi tape is a really handy tool to have. It's basically kind of like having painter's tape. A lot of people ask what you use washi tape for, and I use it to hold things down on my mats if my mats aren't really sticky, or if I just need to make sure whatever's there is not gonna move. So I have a ton of different washi tapes in a bunch of colors. So I used the really long L hook to hold on my washi tape, and I can absolutely fit some more if I move some things around. But I just thought this was a really easy way to have these out so that they weren't stored in a box somewhere and I, they were just easy access. I used a shorter L hook to hold my foam tape and my painter's tape because again, saves me a lot of drawer space and they're really easy to grab when I need to use them. Typically, I'm using my painter's tape at least once or twice a week, and so it's really nice to have it right there where I can just grab it off the hook. The foam tape is really handy, and I got that from the Dollar Tree, and it came with three foam tapes in different widths, and I just think this is a great way. That way I know what I have. This little rack is meant for screwdrivers, but I love being able to have my scissors out so that I can access them. And it's a lot easier than trying to dig through a drawer full of stuff. I can just grab my scissors right off my pegboard and my rotary tool is up there as well. It's just a little bit safer as well. That way when you're digging around your drawer, you're not gonna cut yourself on your scissors or on your rotary tool. And it just gives you easy access to everything. And you can see how many you have if maybe you need to get a new pair of scissors. Or if somebody steals your scissors, you know you're missing one right away. As a Cricut user, I always need mats and I need them easy to access or I just get annoyed while I'm trying to make things. So I used some small U-hooks here to hold up my small mats and then I used a larger U-hook for my 24 inch mat and for my cutting mat and also for my clear ruler, which clearly I haven't used yet. But I love that they're easy access. They're not hidden behind anything. I can easily reach over from my workstation and grab these. And again, I'm not worried about these hooks falling off the wall like I was with the command hooks. I also have my respirator on a small U-hook. Again, it's one of those bulky items that I hate throwing in a drawer, and I do use it quite often. I do have the filters off. I have a new set ordered. But even with the filters on, this will fit fine on my pegboard. But this is an item that, again, it's just a pain to store, but this pegboard is perfect. It keeps it off of a desk, it keeps it out of a drawer, keeps it up off the floor, very easy access, and super simple just to grab it when I need it, put the filters on, and go, and work with my epoxy. I just, I just love the fact that this pegboard holds so much stuff. There's so many ways to hang things and be creative, and I have a lot of space that I can still work with. So I can move things around as I see fit, and as I'd like to add items to this, I can move things around, and plus, I have a lot more wall space, you can see, that I can add more pegboard to if I need to or want to, and then I have all those extra accessories that they sent me that I can still continue to add to my pegboard. Now, I'm gonna so show you my favorite item. This right here is my favorite thing from Mad Tools. And it is a paper towel holder, but I'm actually holding transfer tape on it because I use so much transfer tape and this just makes it easy to access. I can't lose it, I know right where it is, but if I decide I need to take it out or I need to switch out the roll, it's super easy to do. There is a little hook right there that you just pull out and the bar comes out and you can switch out your roll or take your roll off and it keeps it from coming off when you're trying to pull any of your transfer tape off. 
Plus, bonus, this has a shelf on top, which is so handy because I have a big heat gun, which is too big to fit in every drawer I have. It's too big to put just about anywhere, but it fits great right on the top of the shelf. And then I have a little measuring tape that I use quite often on the top of the shelf as well. This is all metal. It's not made out of plastic. It's good quality metal. They've got their logo on the side. This is a really, really cool handy tool, and I think this one is probably my favorite. I want to get the little holder I showed you guys on their website that has the measuring tape holder with the detachable box because I think I could actually use that for a few things. I think that would be really handy to have. But as you can see, I do have a lot of stuff on this pegboard. And I can still fit more if I move things around. I do have more peg hooks. I have lots of options and I can still expand to add more pegboard to this because this is just the plastic square pegboard from Home Depot. I cannot tell you how much I really truly enjoy the thickness of the pegs and the hooks and the baskets from Mad Tools. I think their product really is high quality and it's a great addition to a craft room, especially if you have just a small amount of space to store things. I hope you guys got some really cool ideas on how to use a pegboard to help you in your small craft spaces with storage. Thank you again to Mad Tools for sending me these awesome accessories for my pegboard. I'm so excited and I can't wait to add more to my pegboard and use even more of these awesome pegs and tools. If you guys want, please check that video description down below for a link to the Mad Tools website as well as a coupon code. I hope you guys had so much fun. If you have any questions about some storage ideas or pegboards or heck, anything craft related, feel free to reach out to me on any of my social medias. And if you're not yet a member, please make sure you join my Facebook group linked down below as well. I would love to have you over there. We do a lot of fun things. We talk about a lot of fun things. And it's a really fun way for me to see what you guys are doing in your craft rooms. Also, be sure to check out my Instagram. I've got a giveaway going for just another couple days. And I'm trying to get to 3,000 followers on Instagram. So please pop on over there and join me. I hope you all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.